creating epic AI videos is easier than ever with the new Kling 1.5 model. I've tested out all the different AI video generation platforms and Kling is the best right now by pushing the boundaries of dynamic AI motion and action-packed scenes. With Clean version 1.5, you can also add lip sync to add voices and personalities to your characters. It is pretty easy to create AI videos, but to get the best results, you'll need the correct workflow and the prompt tips that I'll be sharing with you today. But first, let's take a preview at what we'll learn to create today. Before you judge, know what glory means to an orc. Our path is crimson, carved through battlefields thick with the fallen. We march, bound to a single purpose, with no room for doubt. Brothers and enemies fall as we press forward, unflinching toward death's waiting arms. Let's start off by logging into Kling. We can scroll around and see what videos other people have generated. There's always some cool stuff here, but let's go straight to the video generation to make our own videos. There's two options here, text to video where you enter a prompt and Kling creates a video based on that. So let's create a Warcraft cinematic here with a orc chasing a human. After writing the prompt, hit the generate button and see what it comes up with. While this does work, it's super hard to preserve the same visual style across your videos when using text to video. To get the best results, we need to use the image to video tab, which lets us upload a reference image and animate it into a video. Using good reference images is the most important part of this entire process, but it's often the part that people spend the least amount of time on. This is the best way to get the exact visual style, colors, and characters you want. There's a lot of different platforms you can use to generate reference images. I'm using Midjourney. I think it gives you the best visual aesthetics and quality. Inside the prompt bar, there's a couple different components we need to write in our prompts. The subject, in this case an orc shaman. I want a dark gritty feeling so it's nighttime and let's say he's a prisoner so he's tied with metal chains inside a cage. Adding subtle lighting elements like his face is lit up by fire. To get the visual style I want, I add in Warcraft cinematic. And we'll go to the settings on the right here and set the image size to landscape to get the cinematic widescreen shots. Let's hit enter to create the images. Taking a look, like I said, the visual quality in mid journey is super high. The sharpness of the details and the contrast in the shadows and light make for some stunning pictures. This is exactly what I'm looking for. When creating cinematic stories, it's really important to consider the camera angle you're viewing the subject from. Close-up shots directly highlight the details of the face and emotions, using the high angle shot to look down at the subject. This makes him look smaller and more vulnerable. I want to show the orc in a fearful state, challenging death. A low angle shot on the other hand points the camera upwards and shows a powerful intimidating presence. Use a bird's eye view to fly above. We see the huge scale of the destruction on the battlefield. Combine multiple subjects together by specifying their locations inside the image. In this shot, on the left is an orc warrior and on the right is a human knight wearing armor. By the way, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more guys like this. I'm done generating the reference images, but there's an important step we need to take to get the best quality from our videos, which is upscaling the resolution of the photos. The higher resolution that the images have, the sharper the details will look in the final AI videos we create. We can't do this directly inside the journey, just right click and you'll have a few options to upscale the images. Subtle preserves the structure of the original photo and creative adds in new details. These work fine, but I actually like to use an external image upscaler called Magnific which I find is one of the best AI upscalers out there. Just select the upscaler and upload an image. We can leave the settings as the defaults, although sometimes the upscaler will change the appearance of the characters. In that case, you'll need to turn up the resemblance slider here. Looking at the before and after, the details are way sharper, especially around the face wrinkles and all the little blemishes on the armor. The image had a glow up. Now we get to the best part, animating the videos. It's simple to do, but there are some important tips to add to your prompts to get the perfect videos. Back inside Kling, it's time to upload our reference photos into the platform, which will then animate into video. This overhead photo of the battlefield is going to be the first frame of the video. I'll add a prompt, the orc slowly walks away, but just before that, let's also put in bird's eye view. Prompting for the specific camera shot keeps the exact perspective we want. You'll see what I mean in a second. There's a few other settings down here. This creativity slider controls how much the AI follows the prompt. The higher the value, the more the video will follow the prompt. 
You can choose between creating 5 or 10 second videos and also the number of videos to generate. Let's just leave it at 1. And we'll hit generate to create the video. The results show exactly what we described, a bird's eye view of the orc slowly walking away. But what happens if we use a slightly different prompt? On the left, I didn't include the camera shot, bird's eye view, inside the prompt, and the video zooms in on the character. If you don't specifically ask for a camera shot, the AI frequently adds in camera movements on its own, which is why it's important that we ask for a bird's eye view. You can add in specific props, like the orc raises a hammer, and use phrases like subtle motion to prevent the AI from adding in too much movement, which causes deformities. The keywords follow and FPV make for a good combination when you're behind your characters. You can also add in different emotions. Kling is great with animating different facial expressions. To download the videos, hover over this downward arrow. If you have a paid plan, you'll be able to get a video without any watermarks. We've made some really cool looking videos, but I do want to add in some voices also to really bring our characters to life. I like using Eleven Labs to create AI voices. I'm inside the voices page over here, and there's a library with a ton of different voices for us to choose from. For this video, I'll use Carter the Mountain King. He's got this deep, gritty sounding voice, perfect for the cinematic. We can enter some text for him to narrate. A problem with AI voices is that it is hard to add emotions to them. They can sound pretty monotonous. Putting in punctuation marks like exclamations or dot 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 like this adds variety to how the voices sound. Let's take a listen to what we generate. For the clan. For glory. With our voices generated, we have to add them to our characters using lip sync. This can be kind of tricky, but luckily for us, Kling has a lip sync feature underneath every video. Here's one of this guy in a cloak. It looks pretty intense. Let's click on lip sync and it'll analyze the video for a second. This interface pops up. You have the option to enter a prompt for what the character says and also pick a voice underneath. But since we've already generated our own voiceover, let's go to upload local dubbing and adding our own narration. Glory. What do you know of it, human? So I don't actually want to lip sync this entire segment. Just the second part where he says, what do you know of it, human? So let's use this trim tool right here. And we'll cut off the beginning part of the voiceover. Then if we find the lip sync button, the AI will do its thing. What do you know of it, human? Here's the thing, the lip sync is really only designed to work on human faces. I tried really really hard to make this work on an orc face. And most of the time it just gives this error message that no face was detected inside the video. Even for orcs that look pretty humanoid. Also it seems like if there's beards covering the lips, that also stops AI from lip syncing properly. You'll need videos where the lips are clearly visible and the face is human. For more expressive lip syncs, Use videos with facial expressions or hand gestures already in them. I generated this clip with a prompt, he points his finger, and then if we add lip sync to it, we animate our character speaking and pointing their finger at the same time, for a more dynamic shot. The great thing about Kling is that the videos are already generated in high definition, but what if you need even higher resolution 4K videos? In that case, we will need to upscale the videos for maximum quality. I use Topaz myself, it's one of the best video upscalers out there. Just drag and drop in your video clips, then select the upscale resolution you need. You can go all the way up to 8K. There's a lot of other options here, like the frame rate or the AI model you use. I'll leave them alone and go down to the export button at the bottom to get the AI videos. You can track the progress of the upscaler inside the interface. Upscaling is an optional step, but I do like the extra quality I get in my videos. The last step is to combine everything together in a video editor. We have the voice narrations and also make sure to use music and plenty of sound effects to get a more immersive viewing experience. And here's what the final animation looks like. Glory. What do you know of it, human? You, who has never felt the earth tremble beneath your feet or faced death with tusks bared before you judge. Know what glory means to an orc. Our path is crimson, carved through battlefields thick with the fallen. We march, bound to a single purpose, with no room for doubt. Brothers and enemies fall as we press forward, unflinching toward death's waiting arms. For the clan, for glory. If you want to learn how to create AI characters for your videos and have them appear consistently in different shots, 
Go watch this tutorial right here.